Okay, so here's that Katari we were talking about. This is the Jojoba. Um, this is what got me into the wine. Um, it comes in a four ounce and um, it's 64. And then this is the Hoba. Um, I believe that's 12 for the um, 10 milliliter, the half ounce. And, um, and it's in a really nice um, frosted glass. And um, it's got the reducer on it. Um, so this lasts me quite a few months um, as a long-term supply. Um, jojoba oil doesn't go rancid the way that plant oils will because it's a wax. So like whereas another oil might go rancid, jojoba never goes rancid. Um, so that to me is my morning cleansing. It's my moisturizer. It's my first aid. It helps my scalp and I mix it with other things to um, emulsify. So it's my emulsifier and it keep moisture like um, literal water from evaporating. So well, we talked a little bit about using water to hydrate the skin. Um, these are two waters that come in the Qatari line. There's the Rizzo, which is rose, and here's geranium, geran. And the difference with this in a typical rose water is that uh, most rose waters that I've used are called hydrosols, and that's the water that's left over after the oil is taken out, and they sell that. This actually has the oil in it still, so they, um, it's the water with the oil. Anyway, so it's really nice rose water, and it smells amazing. Um, that is the travel size. It is also 12, just like the little jojoba. Um, same with geranium. Um, this one's got a mister, and this one's for um, the geraniums a splash. Um, my personal preference is the smell of rose. It's also good for my more mature skin. It's good for my more um, dry skin. Geranium might be more refreshing, or if it's a personal preference, moisturize, um, just um, fragrance-wise. Um, you can also get those in the big sprays, and that that really nice, heavy, frosted glass. Super luxurious. It adds a lot to the experience. Um, it looks gorgeous in the bathroom. It works really well. It's a super high quality product and the money is going to a good place. Um, this is the um, 8 ounce. It's 48. And Giron is also uh, 48 um, in those sizes. Again, that will last a long time. Um, there's a couple little babies back here um, that are new. There's some special oils. Um, this is a pomegranate, um, this is a rose, and this is a black seed. Um, I would say if you're trying to pick an, one oil, definitely make it jojoba. Start with jojoba, unless you're really drawn to one of these. Black seed is um, Mediterranean black seed oil. The lore from the people who produce it locally is um, it'll cure everything but death, and so Kate brought us that. Um, it is 28 for the one ounce. Um, it's pretty intense. It's good for acne or infection. Um, the, or to prevent like acneic infections. Um, this is the rose hip. It's a really nice rose hip oil. It smells like roses. Um, it is 28 for an ounce. And um, here's the um, pomegranate. And it smells like Kool-Aid, but it's really just pomegranate. There's nothing added to it. It's just um, the um, seeds. So they take the seeds, they get the oils out. This is where they get the rose hips and get the oils out of that. Um, um, so this is a um, natural anti-ager. Uh, rose is great for mature skin. It's got like some um, antioxidant properties. I'll get you some micronutrient um, lineups, but then the pomegranate is a little bit lighter. I might say it's more for sensitive skin or um, if you have a tendency towards a lot of redness, maybe this is nicer than the rose hip. It's a, rose hip's a little warming. The pomegranate stays a little cooler on the skin, has a lighter, drier feel. Um, these three, um, this is hand-blown glass from Egypt. Kate got a special deal. She actually went and spoke to the consulate and went and, <laughs> it's a long story, but there's like pictures of her at um, National Monument, like, you know, International Monuments, like the Sphinx, like the pyramids and stuff. Um, as she came up with a way to keep this super affordable um, in Cairo to 
um, supplement the artisans so they're getting a fair wage and we can still afford to sell um, hand blown glass. So the, I love those kinds of details. I don't know if anybody else is into it. So pomegranate's a little bit more, a little more of a precious, um, getting that much oil out of the seeds of the pomegranate and that one's 38. So that's kind of the basics. I think that, you know, this whole risotto, jojoba, or if it's like, okay, I'm not gonna be able to just jump in monetarily that much or whatever, I wanna check and see if it works. So the two of these together, it's 64 and 48, and that's the four ounce and the eight ounce. And then this is 12 and 12, so it's 24, and those are like uh, one ounce and a half ounce. Um, so I would say a month and quite a few months for the bigger ones here. Um, there's this other deal um, she came out with for the holidays and um, for traveling kits. So this took a long, long time to come up with, and um, it's called the um, Voyage, and it's really beautiful. Um, it was really important to her that um, it wasn't going to just end up in a landfill somewhere. Um, so there's this paper um, coating or a paper sleeve on the outside. Um, so we got a minimal amount of waste there. A little bit of information on a card here. Um, that's Kate walking around. Um, and then inside it's this little packet. Um, she worked for a long time to find a way to do this without plastic. So this is olive wood. It comes from the same region. It's um, laser cut to have that in there. And instead of a button or anything like that, this little guy opens like this and it's a bag. And the little goodies are inside there. So you can see the sponge and you can see the olive wood stick. I'm not gonna unwrap everything because this is um, live product, but um, if you look at the back, set this back up. If you look at the back, you can see it is a bottle of the Hoba. So it's this hand blown glass, but it's this oil, Hoba oil. And um, then it's a hand-blown glass vial of rose water. And you can see it's that. Um, so hoba, rose water, and then argile is the clay. I didn't bring the clay over to show you. Um, the big one is like 60. Um, so you get a little hand-blown glass. And look at that cute little um, spoon that sits on the side of the argile bottle. And then um, it comes with the natural sea sponge, which is you just wash it it you'll um if you keep it for your own personal use it's a something that should be good for you for years and years um, again the same thing with the olive wood spoon um all you have to do is wash it um it's super durable and then a hand blown glass um, not blown glass i'm sorry it's a um clay mi mixing bowl and that's what i was telling you about about the um Everybody in the village gets together and they make a batch of these clay mixing bowls. And um, so they're really nice. They feel really good in your hand and they're perfect for mixing the clay and all that. So this little doodad um, is 86 with everything. It comes with the, um, so I'll go over it again one more time. So it's a half ounce of jojoba, an ounce of rose water, an ounce of the clay, and um, the mixing accessories and should last a good month if not a lot longer than that um, you can just get the um, just the clay in a smaller vial the bowl a sponge and then a little mask and if you want ask me and i'll try and throw a little i think i've got some extra brushes but ask me it's got a spoon and a um, mixing spatula and a softer brush um, this kit is um, 66. Same thing um, like that. Um, so that's that.